there is a, another nagging question from our countrymen. Uh, uh, have you considered uh, discontinuing the use of face shields? Because uh, until now, there are no scientific uh, studies proving that the efficacy of um, the face shields to spread COVID-19. Uh, I think we're the only country in the world that is mandating the use of face shields. Hindi pa sa hospital lang ginagamit ang face shields, dapat. Secretary Duque. Uh, thank you, Your Honor, uh, Mr. President. Uh, meron pong uh, scientific basis po ito and we will be very glad to uh, give you the link ito pong uh, sa Lancet at uh, pag-aaral sa India uh, at uh, dito po locally naman si Dr. Uh, Tony Dans and uh, Dr. Uh, James uh, Amaya Herrera and Wong and that, sila ang dalawa po. So, uh, Siguro, Your Honors, pagka malaki-laki na po ang coverage natin uh, ng bakuna, baka pwede na po natin na uh, pag-aralan yung pong minumukahe ng ibang mga grupo na baka pwede nga uh, uh, huwag na gumamit ng uh, face shield. Pero sa ngayon po, talagang kami ay uh, uh, nakikiusap na ito ay ipagpatuloy pa rin natin dahil dagdag na protection po ito under our uh, BIDA solution. Salamat po. Uh, pag, uh, I hope you did not use the 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 correct word ano? or the wrong word when you said uh, pagka mabuti-buti na alagayan sa pag-aaralan. Ngayon palang pag-aaralan nyo na. Hindi nyo hintayin yung pumuti-buti uh, sitwasyon. So pagkat uh, again, perhaps uh, later on, ano? I'll, I'll continue to recognize already our colleagues. Eh. Can you ask your staff to submit to us the, the countries that mandate face shields, all right? Uh, uh, yes, could be Honor. as simple as that instead of uh, studies. The studies can always be done by those who want face shields, eh? all right? So submit it to us. All the countries Mr. that are mandating face shields and those who are not. Thank you. Mr. Uh, President. Right, okay. Mr. President. All right, we right Mr. now President. recognize the President Pro Temp, Senator Ralph Mr. President. Mr. President. Yeah. Oh, Nancy. Senator Binay, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, just an additional ano, submission with regards to the face shield. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, kung pwede ho, isabit din, kung, who among the doctors recommended making it mandatory? Kasi may napanood ho ako sa isang show, ang recommendation was to encourage but not to uh, make it compulsory. So, siguro maganda kong malaman kung sino yung mga nag-recommend na doctor to make it mandatory. Yes, Secretary Duque. Uh, sir, although siya nakapasok sa IATF resolution, pero kung hindi naman sumunod, wala naman pong uh, penalty na nakapaloob doon sa IATF resolution. So, de facto, parang kono siya. Parang uh, uh, pwedeng sundin, which kami naman, ang talagang uh, position namin noong uh, una pa lang, ay makakatulong po ito together with the face mask and social distancing greater than 95% protection. So, yun lang po, sir. So, um you're saying that it is being encouraged, it's not mandatory. You know, for the record, ha? Kasi marami kami mga doktor na nakakausap na sinasabi, laro pa kinama yung face shield, lalo na sa ulo ginagamit. <laughs> uh, Nakakaabala pa sa init, eh. Ano? Uh, lalo sir, na sa kami sa lamin. My apologies po, sir. My apologies. I'm sorry kasi binigay po sa akin pala IATF resolution. Nakalagay, all persons are mandated to wear full coverage face shields together with face mask, ear loop mask, indigenous reusable or do-it-yourself mask, or other facial protective equipment. So like what I said earlier, sir, wala hong uh, uh, penal provision kung uh, hindi po sumunod. That's so, okay. Hindi, hindi, hindi ko respect, there is no penal, pro penal provision. Mr. President? That. Yes, Senator Bina, you uh, had... Parang, I beg to disagree dun sa sinabi ni Secretary Duque because I think yung mga LGU... May, may penalty sa kanila eh, na pag hindi ka nakasuot ng face shield. Mga ordinansa nila yun, local ordinances. 
Yes, Senator because Sig- it, 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 it comes from the IATF <laughs> policy. Secretary Anyo. Yes, go ahead. Uh, good afternoon, Paul. Uh, uh-huh. First of all, po, those sa uh, ating tinatawag na minimum health standards, wearing of mask po talaga yung required. Yung uh, facial is just to provide added protection because based on studies, kung biglang umubo or bumahin, at least 96% protected kasi I resolve with the patient. Now, sa ating mga LGU, sa ating mga ordinances, makikita natin, wala pong penalty provision for the patient, only for not wearing the mask. Because the patient is required when you are riding public transportation, you are entering the mall, you are entering the uh, the public market. Meaning to say, uh, meron pong option yung establishment na hindi ka papasukin because they require facial. But when you're walking outdoor, facial is not really required. So even uh, you do not wear facial, hindi ka papapasokin sa mga establishment. Pero kung mahuli ka, wala naman sa penalty provision. So even in our reporting, ang uh, meron mga penalty provision po dyan, not wearing mask, uh, violation of social distancing, at saka yung uh, mass gathering. So you're saying that uh, if it's outside, even if uh, there are these are restaurants or open air restaurants, you're not mandating the use of face shields, you know, around yeah, the area. Yes, the um, area. yes, Mr. President. Uh, that is why it is uh, we are very emphatic na uh, kapag ka mga meeting indoors, uh, offices, there's a need for the face shield uh, because it provides added protection. Anyway, still, uh, we would like to uh, ask for the list. You know, you can give us, uh, give us, uh, submit the list uh, on the countries that mandate this. Um.